Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the advent of the new year 2021. His Majesty the King wished the leaders and their people abundant health and happiness and continued development and prosperity for their countries, expressing hope that the new year will be one of peace and prosperity for all world countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Sudan's head of the Transitional Sovereignty Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan Abdel Rahman Al Burhan, on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict Number 23 of 2020, which amends Edict Number 72 of 2013 which specifies the outstanding payments on the services by the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The edict includes a change to the member and subscription fees at the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of good wishes on the advent of the new year 2021 with the leaders and Crown Princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries in which he expressed wishes of further progress and prosperity for the countries and abundant health and happiness for the people, wishing it to be a year of peace and security for all world countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Sudan's head of the Transitional Sovereignty Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Abdurrahman Al Bahan, on the country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to Sudan's Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamdok. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received a letter from the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte. The letter was delivered during a meeting with the Special Envoy of the President of the Republic of Philippines, Presidential Assistant on Foreign Affairs and Chief of Presidential Protocol, Robert Eric Borges, at Rifa Palace. The letter contained Duterte's congratulations to His Royal Highness on his appointment as Prime Minister and noticed his aspirations to further develop bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of the Philippines. The letter also conveyed the President's best wishes to the success of His Royal Highness and further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of bilateral cooperation that continues to advance across various sectors, benefiting both countries and their peoples. For his part, Borges expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and highlighted His Royal Highness's continued commitment to further strengthening the bilateral ties. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zani, was also in attendance. The Kingdom of Bahrain has made a new achievement in camel racing sport to affirm its high status in external participations and embodies the support various sports in the Kingdom received from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. This achievement came through the victory of Injaza and Jabal Dukhan, which belonged to His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in two rounds in the King Abdulaziz Festival for Camel Races held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The support and follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser contributed in winning two titles in the festival, which witnessed a large participation from a number of countries. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure in this victory, affirming that it comes within the framework of continuing to make achievements in external participations in the name of Bahrain, which have been achieved in the King Abdulaziz Festival for Camel Racing. His Highness added that the festival has contributed in highlighting the common heritage aspects and their Gulf, Arab and Islamic depth and reflecting the distinguished efforts made by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in preserving cultural and sports legacies. His Highness also expressed pleasure in the success of the festival and appreciation for all the working committees for their efforts and keenness to ensure the success of the festival. The Kamal Atawita, which belongs to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, won first place in the fifth lap in the King Abdulaziz Festival for camel races held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 
His Highness dedicated the victory to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed pride in Bahrain's achievement in the King Abdulaziz Camel Race in its fifth iteration, which he said reflects the popularity of the heritage sport among the Bahraini youth and their attachment to it. He highlighted the keen interest of His Majesty the King in supporting sports in general and heritage sports in particular, which has encouraged the interest of the people of Bahrain and the keen interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as well, as it enabled the youth to realise many achievements in all fields. His Highness said that the people of Bahrain are known for their achievements and that have been keen of interest to His Majesty and His Royal Highness have raised the Kingdom's profile as is reflected in that the Kingdom has achieved in this popular race. He congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, over the victory of His Highnesses Jabal Dakhan and Injaz who won the first place in the first and second laps of the race. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed thanks and appreciation to all the organisations for their hospitality and their organising work, which brings the people of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries together and offers a chance for exchange of expertise among them. He was the organisers. Best of luck. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, received in his office at the Ministry's General Court the Special Envoy of the President of the Philippines, Presidential Assistant of Foreign Affairs and Chief of Presidential Protocol, Robert Eric Bourge, who is an official visit from the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister was commissioned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to receive a written letter addressed to His Majesty the King from President Rodrigo Duterte from the Republic of the Philippines on the friendship and cooperation relations between the two friendly countries. The Foreign Minister welcomed the Philippine envoy, expressing the King of Bahrain's pride in the strong bilateral relations under the directors of His Majesty the King and the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He stressed that the contribution of the mutual visits between the two countries reflects the common desire to develop bilateral action between them in a way that benefits the two friendly countries and people. The Foreign Minister also appreciated the efforts of the Filipino community and labour and the contributions to the development of the Kingdom. For his part, Mr Borges conveyed the greetings of the President and the Government of the Philippines as well as the appreciation for the joint cooperation between the two countries in various fields. He also praised the care and attention enjoyed by the Filipino community in the Kingdom and the comprehensive health care and services provided by the Kingdom's government and the citizens and residents to counter the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The President of the Supreme Council for Health and the Head of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid an inspection field visit to the vaccination centre at King Hamad University Hospital, KHUH. The KHUH Commander, Major General, Dr Sheikh Salman bin Ali Thala Al Khalifa was present. Dr Sheikh Mohammed affirmed that the national vaccination campaign is proceeding in accordance with the Royal Directives to provide vaccination for COVID-19 without charge to all citizens and residents in support of health security plans to combat the pandemic. The inauguration of the vaccination centre at KHUH comes as part of the vaccination process in various medical centres in Bahrain to reinforce the precautionary measures and is in line with the national efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to contain the pandemic. Dr Sheikh Mohammed inspected the facilities to receive citizens and residents who wish to receive the vaccination. He praised the continuous efforts of the hospital and the national medical team to make a successful campaign. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,047, with 222 recoveries and 256 registered new cases. 134 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 101 are contacts of active cases, and 21 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force on combating the coronavirus.